History has come alive at the El Segundo Public Library today. As the city continues its centennial celebrations, the public was invited to experience the annual Authors' Fair, where this year, the images of the past become the stories of the future. Bookworms of all ages had plenty to see and do at the 2017 Authors' Fair, where authors of all genres gathered to share their works with the public through book signings, panels, lectures, and fun activities. This year's theme was centered around history and how the past continues to shape our present world. It's an, uh, an event that brings together a lot of local authors from Los Angeles and Southern California. We try to tie together local entertainment as well as like music. We have the automobile driving museum cars here today. So we just try to make it a little more than an author fair, but something for everybody. I'm here because uh, of the author fair. I always like to see all the authors who came to El Segundo. I just think it's cool. Um, you all take this and you can take that. Wow, look, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> this is old school right here. <laughs> And as a museum, we, are, we feel very strongly uh, that expression and history and everything leading up to who we are today, we can't understand ourselves if we can't understand the past. And a huge part of that is not just collecting objects, but collecting books and reading and understanding perspectives of other people and of other times. And uh, that's why we're here today. Oh, it's awesome to be out here. I used to travel all over Los Angeles and Getting out to the beach cities was just a wonderful adventure, you know, it's so, it's great to be out here. We're sharing history and with my book, that's what I'm doing, sharing a lot of history about California and the adventures that we experience. Uh, California is such a wonderful state and there's, it has so much history that uh, I think we should share it with our community. Personally, I love the 20s, so I was really excited. I already had this in the closet, and I was like, an excuse to wear a 20s dress, I'm all over it. This event is really special because it gives the children a chance to meet authors who wrote books that they're interested in reading, or maybe they just find and they're really excited. So it's cool to be like, oh my god, this person made this story. They created this, and now I'm going to read it. And the kids earlier were so excited for the chance to talk to the authors, maybe get them to sign the book. It's almost like meeting a hero or something. We wrote Molly, actually, our daughter, into book one. So it was really fun because we could sort of write things that were kind of true. And um, she got to read the books, and she was really excited about it. And when we came up with an idea, we sort of run it by her. And so she would you know, tell us whether that was cool or not cool. Or, so it was really good. We actually got to speak to the demographic we were writing for. The feedback has been amazing. When kids read the books and they come to us and they tell us, you know, this this was so exciting. When is the next book coming out? And that that energy just fuels us, and we get so excited about writing the next one. I also edit their books. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We have an obligation to tell stories. Back in the turn of the century, we had things called diaries and journals where people were able to share stories about the turn of the century. Today, it's called tweets. So it's important for people like myself to still be able to put words to print and then print those books and tell those great stories so that people can come and visit your neighborhood library and read and then the imagination flourishes. Whether we love poetry, fiction, nonfiction, or illustration, the library continues to inspire generations of storytellers and book lovers for yet another century. For El Segundo TV, I'm Natasia Gascon. Thank you.